Hi, my name is Vladimir Dustin and welcome back to some Golden Time. We left off on Ayaka being a weirdo and trying to see her little wee wee. Anyways, let's get started. Gah! This is the best after a bath. She really likes her milk. Oh boy. Yogurt milk. Yogurt milk? How many? Okay. I felt refreshed in both body and mind. With nothing left to do, Jogasaki headed home. Yeah, we'll do. Was she my mom? She indeed is your mom, yep. It's not like I had anything else planned and I was absolutely exhausted after that studying. So I gotta get ready for bed. Mm -hmm. What is it, mom? Mm -hmm. Huh? Like what? She posted that rather sudden and confusing question. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> she finally figured me out, huh? I was sure that internally she probably assumed I just treated her like an ordinary classmate. Should be apparent something was up when she saw how differently I dealt with Reina, who was in the same position. There was no use in hiding it. Well, if I had to put it simply... I told her there had been a few complications in class. I was careful not to vilify her and withheld some of my more unreasonable complaints. I'd have wondered just how much someone in as intelligent as Mina-chan had inferred. Indeed. Indeed. Really? For me, I felt like she was far more devious and conniving. Once again, my Wi-Fi does not want to work right now, so editing vitamin D stink could put in our definition real quick. Thank you, vitamin. Ah, how annoying. Conniving when she wasn't under Sylvie's watchful gaze. Interesting. That was a fairy tale I would never know. I did nothing wrong though. That may have also been part of why she took such a scathing attitude here at the dorm. At the end of the day, I think commoners in general buggered to no end. You think so? Hmm. Let me think. Something like that. Yeah. At the end of the day, those princesses were ordinary human beings. They had their own unique personalities and idiosyncrasies. Saw them as individuals, nothing more. Yeah, 
そして 99% のうち何人かはそのイメージの中にいる世間知らずで苦労知らずなお姫様に憎しみを抱きさらにうち何人かはその憎しみを私たちに向けるのです That could happen maybe it wasn't just the money either there were plenty of prejudiced people in the world who criticized others based on trivial things like their blood type to what prefecture they were in first they often held arbitrary preconceptions of others second they project these same preconceptions on the reality third they assumed that projected reality to be a legitimate one it would be great if they realized at some point along the way that they were a slave to their own wild imagination but everyone fell victim to it at least once in their lives and i was no exception As a commoner, it was rare to run into or come into contact with someone who was well off. It's normal to create all sorts of arbitrary notions about people you've never met, especially if you've never gone to hang out with a bunch of princesses or rich girls. Surely a rich person would eventually interact with someone with those conveniently misplaced impressions, right? それだけで庶民というものに嫌気がさす方もいますわ彼女はそれなのではないでしょうか何か理由があって庶民というのを遠ざけたいのでは You think so? Maybe she was right If that were the case then I'd been wrong about Jogosaki from the start I doubted we could get along regardless of the reason but That certainly piqued my interest. Haha, <laughs> I'd better take a good look at myself then. I had a few biases of my own against upper class girls. Felt like they looked down on me because they're rich. Let's just assume it was inevitable I would wind up with that conception. It wouldn't be fair for me to project those feelings onto someone in real life without giving them a chance to show me who they really were first. I felt remorse. That's true. Just because someone's rich doesn't mean they're looking down on me. お金持ちに生まれたというだけで庶民を見下す方はたくさんいますわよ、oh. 庶民とは自分たち金持ちより劣った存在というイメージを持っていてそれを死ぬまで現実に投影して生きていく貴族もいっぱいいますわははは、そう、both sides are just as guilty commoners weren't the only ones who had arbitrary impressions, huh? ただそうではない方もいる私やもちろんお姉さまこの寮にもたくさん城ヶ崎さんは私たち側だと思いますわイメージでなく現実を見て判断していると I see If so there might still be an opportunity where we could talk When I think of it that way I really have been blessed どうして Because if Sylvie had you know Been the sort of person who'd been influenced by preconceptions, I never would have been invited to this school. It was a lucky break. かもしれませんわね。まあ、我々王族はそうした偏見を持たないよう生まれつき言われているものですけど、お姉様の場合は特にそもそも庶民に対するイメージそのものが最初から好意的でしたわ。10年前の庶民と遊んだ記憶が素
Yep, you're not wrong. Yeah, there's no way we could make her up for something like this. Rio was a no-go for the same reason. And she has cancer. Heck, Hakuna-chan would probably be scared, scared stiff if she showed up. I had very, contacts, very few contacts I could reach out to at the dorm about this, which left. Sylvie? Mina? Mina-chan, are you awake? As expected, Minachan replied when I knocked on the door across the hall from mine and I could hear sounds rustling from inside. <sighs> Minachan looked a bit sweaty. Morning. You're sweating? She effortlessly crossed her hands behind her back. Stretching really considered radio calisthenics? I had no idea. And not easy going radio calisthenics either, but legitimate stretches. Radio calisthenics would be way too lackluster for a top notch prima donna like Mina Chana. What the freak is that? But when we explained what was going on, Alright. She nodded with a sweet smile. What a great girl. Soda? You want a soda? Uh, no. Well, what do you think? Considering how Minachan acted yesterday, I could more than picture how this would turn out. Setting aside how it would come about, it was given as long as she was invited in Minachan's presence. While her answer was obvious, Jogosaki clearly looked less than pleased. Since my head was still bandaged up, it would be tricky for her to harshly turn us down. So after a momentary loss of words, Ah, she caught her. That innocent yet borderline overbearing way Akane-chan begged had put the final nail in the Jogosaki coffin. Once she invoked it, she found it impossible to evade. Alright. Jogosaki couldn't counter Akane chan's pure and genuine smile and looked a bit troubled by that realization. Hmm. I guess deep down she did have some good in her. I don't know if that makes her good though. <laughs> The underclassmen were spirited. I was the same as ever myself, but... Someone stiff. She got a little stiffy. One particular person among the group was behaving rather strangely. Nothing. I didn't mean to stare and she zeroed in on me. None at all. Her choppy dance movements would have made for a great dance sequence for a robot. I knew what this was. It had to be a case of. Jogosaki looked displeased as she stiffly raised her arms. Whether she was frazzled or otherwise, radio calisthenics were just a repetition of four sets of exercises. This was Minachan's first session and she was doing quite well. Theoretically, a novice like Jogosaki could succeed if she just imitated our movements. <laughs> 
My bad. Nothing, really. It was kind of charming. Was it? Despite how often I stared at her, Jogasaki kept at it with a sour look on her face. Hi, Saigo, Shinko Q. In the end, the only part she did well was the deep breathing exercises. It's nice and chilly out, so those deep breaths really cool you down from the inside. It really was quite brisk out today. I love cold weather. Weather? I love cold weather. Oh my gosh, I can't even talk. Minachan had excellent sense. I don't know, man. I don't think she's bonding. You need to have, you need to have her do this again. She doesn't look very fire right now. Stop capping. Ignoring that laugh for a second. I'll be honest. Discovering your weak spot feels great. <laughs> Jogosaki flipped her head away. I've seen a robot dance earlier. <laughs> this gesture of hers actually seemed cute. I was a little worried seeing as how your reflexes are practically non existent. You didn't hurt yourself, right? <laughs> That's a great question. I was actually wondering the same dang thing. Kind of sounds like a dumb question if you ask me. It happens all the time. Major injuries due to a lack of rhythm. I'd seen a number of people in sports clubs over the years with little to no reflexes who got hurt or something small and insignificant. I can't say I, the same. I can't say the same. There had been instances of people twisting the legs from a tiny jump. Okay, yeah, that's true. Spreading a leg, leg ligament through basic dance moves and so on. Then again, those with slow reflexes didn't play sports much in the first place, so the number of injuries was quite low. Mina-chan blocked forward and placed both of her hands against the ground. Are you flexible? This was me harping on some more about injuries, but reflexes were connected with how easily one got hurt. But flexibility would determine the extent of the injury. As long as you were flexible, even if you got hurt easily, you'd just find it mildly painful and get off without any huge injuries. Togosaki shrugged, seemingly exasperated. She jerked her body downward. Touch. Her fingertips reached the ground. She wasn't as good as it as Mina-chan, but her fingers did reach sufficiently enough. But... Jogasaki, your knees are bent. Huh? You do forward stretches with your legs stretched out straight. <laughs> she put her fingers back to the ground. Her knees were bent pretty sharply. Yeah, I'm telling you, that's just an ordinary crouch start. Jogosaki tried all over again to keep her knees stretched. Man, even I could do it. Okay, but to be fair, I am pretty active. Not in the way I would have wanted to. Anyway. But she just wound up wiggling her boat without successfully stretching anything. Not going to lie, that was kind of hot. Yep, she is trying. Ah, yikes. Jogosaki may be as stiff as a board, but being inflexible won't kill her. If you try to destroy her joints, I'm going to stop you. Reina had fallen victim to it last time around. Oh, that's right. Minachan's flexibility was on a level that would be astonishing for a rhythmic gymnast, like she'd shown off earlier, but Minachan used her own abilities as a baseline and those unrealistic expectations made her a poor instructor. Minachan looked down and sulked at the open attempt 
to drive her away. Agunachan suddenly intervened. Given who she was, she ought to be familiar with how flexible sports club members were and took a good long look for herself. Speaking of stretches, I've been meaning to want to stretch more at least once a day, and I just forget. <laughs> That was the abundance of flexibility knowledge you'd expect of someone on the track club. Jogosaki seemed appreciative of Akane-chan's advice. She had to be a dark type, so maybe she was weak to a light type like Akane-chan? The two of them started some simple warm-up exercises. They spread their legs and stretched their achille tendons. Even Jogosaki could handle this much with ease. A floor and transition into other stretches. Hmm. Great thumbnail. Interestingly enough, yeah. Those two have good chemistry. You're right, you're right. Hmm. It wasn't like I didn't understand what she was getting at. It wasn't, but there was the difference in her attitude. Was there? I guess there was. I guess there is. As I thought it over. Oh, Hime-chan, oh, Hime-chan. Saki no, mokai ni shite kureru kai? Ashi ga 180 do ijo iku no? Sugoi ne, Kami-chan. 180 kurai rakushou desu wa. Ichiryu no puri ka wa. 270 do kara no sekai desu koto yo. Hime-chan went off on an entirely different tangent. Mo-muri, mo-muri. Tsugi wa kahanshin no stretch desu. He seemed to be getting along well. It was a pretty fun morning. Someone got too showy off you. Mina-chan? Did she die? Kamiya no kokan ga! Kokan ga! Kokan ga taihen da! Gokai o maneku hyougen wa yame na sai. Momo no kansetsu o itame da dake desu. Kamiya-sama, hansou shimasu. Stretcher he. ですわ。大丈夫かい、神にゃん。諦めちゃいけない。君の股はまだ避けてない。諸女の子はまだ生きてる。諸女の子を信じて。トラスト諸女の子。神にゃん。やはりこの寮に投入なさるのは問題かと
今はノーコメントですわあゲロ Yes 私今日は帰れそうにありませんのでお勉強千代ヶ崎さんに Again? No! Ugh. An unexpected development has suddenly arisen. Good job, Mina. You want to keep showing off? Still, I couldn't complain. Couldn't be unreasonable and have her suggest she would stick around. Got it. I'll do it. So you hurry off to the hospital. <laughs> Hyman forever! <laughs> From there, the helicopter carried me not to go. <laughs> oh my god. That's a good question. Don't you think this is a world's first princess or not? That's a good question. Forever is just for emphasis. Fine. It looks like it would be a rough day ahead. Would it be? Noble Academy didn't have English lessons. It was presumed that the students here could speak English, so it was unnecessary to teach. However, there were foreign language lectures, meaning English assignments they did hand out included. Am I an elementary schooler? I wrote my journal in English. This was rough. Yep, rough. Translating every single word one by one into English was out of the question, and writing with the same sort of context as in textbooks wasn't right either. It was an assignment that was hopeless without a knack for colloquial speech of sorts. I did give writing a, a shot last night. Actually, I had to read what I'd written. It's that hopeless? It's hopeless. How do you write all of that? Copy paste. <laughs> no idea, I saw it somewhere online. まあ、最悪あなたがこもちシングルマザーだったとして、この日を日記にするならせめて発表会の内容に焦点を当てるべきかと。Now I'm not even going to try to say that. Oh my god. We got a multilingual king over here. That's pretty good. Why is he learning this? <laughs> this was a lost cause. If there's anything I can write, I guess English really might be it. Right. Then again, it was a major pain to write a journal on the second day of winter break. Oh well, it's not like any of it mattered. I could write about what had happened the other day during the big cleanup session. I did homework in my room, helped clean the dorm, then fell off a chair and hurt myself. A girl nearby felt it was her duty and took me to the hospital. 
Although there was some tension, I was surprised by her sense of responsibility. Maybe we could get along better in the future. Or so I wrote. Something like this? Oh. Oh, I was a little late for this, but was it weird to have the personal, the person I wrote about read this? Yeah, maybe you shouldn't have given that to her. Sure. Uh, Chogasaki? What I wrote doesn't really matter, does it? Oh, she's changed. She's changed. Very, very, very much so. I had been the truth a little. Bent. But there was no need for me to deliberately tell the teacher. A stubborn woman fell off her chair and I got hurt protecting her. Instigating a friendship with her was the theme of the latter half, so wrapping it up by saying, We could be friends was a nice touch. Don't cap, you want to be her friend. Then, just as we went into our study session. Oh, hey. Ryo came in mumbling and looked like she just rolled out of bed. Was it normal for her to wake up after 9 30 in the morning? あの Jogasaki was getting huffy. I'd heard they attended the same middle school or something and were quite close. Yeah, you tell her, Ria. English at the moment. <laughs> oh, yeah, Ria. What about your homework? I am study. It's no thank you. Yeah, same. You're hopeless. I'd imagine she was exempt from her studies due to her achievements as Maria Bishop and her cancer. <laughs> That's not funny. So, what did you want? Although I couldn't convince her to study, she agreed to stay and proved to be a great buffer between Jorosaki and I. You make something? You're cooking? Huh? Whoa, whoa, hang on a sec. What's up with treating me to breakfast? It took a whole other game for Ria to finally decide to make us something after everything Oro has done for her. That's actually crazy. Yeah. Ew, no, I don't like this. Be mean. Stop. Of course I will. Oh, I see. I, see, I, see, I, see. I understand <laughs> So, you're trying to polish off your stockpile of frozen food? What do you have? How about something electrical? There has to be something. I'd imagine anything you actually cooked from the scratch will come out an ugly, burnt mess. So, so, <laughs> Sorry, what? By the way, Ramone aside, I don't remember ever treating you to ice cream. You were the one who ate my Romando ice cream? Man, you got in the way of the ultimate combination. Ice cream after a winter's bath. Oh, pff, she didn't have to. Ria briefly stepped out to go back to her room. 
She returned moments later with a pile of containers. Since I only ever ate light breakfast anyway, it turned into a spontaneous frozen food party. いろいろ買ってればよね。あなた。冷食業界は日進月歩だからな。同じメニュー同じ会社でもグレードアップが早いし。全部試そうとするといつの間にか冷凍庫がえらいことになる。全部試そうとしなければいいじゃない。こんな
Nothing at all, Jogosaki-san. San? Oh, I'm just so happy to think you're helping me with my homework, Jogosaki-san. I'm overjoyed. Ha <laughs> I'm happy as can be. Har 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 har. Her face was somber. You think I'm creepy, don't you? Okay, I'll stop. That's how I've been feeling, though. The goodwill I had for you practically skyrocketed. Up until now, if some crazy person attacked the dorm and threatened to kill everyone unless we offered up a sacrifice, I would have picked you in a heartbeat. I've had a change of heart recently, though. Man, I never would have thought you'd be the first person to discover Maria's talent. If it weren't for you, there wouldn't have been a Maria Bishop. I cannot tell you how grateful I am. Jogasaki grinned. I never seen her look so triumphant. Did you pick out her hairstyle? Which of you comes up with the songs? Interesting. You did all of that? That's amazing. She really did all of that? If it was coming from her mouth, then I doubt she was exaggerating. As that thought ran through my mind. She sounded a little disappointed. Yeah, everyone was talking about her. It was so extreme that even the daughter of a TV executive didn't see it coming. She really took off in America. She really took off in America and the UK, especially. Ouch. That part seemed to bother her, and she looked downward. Hmm. There seemed to be some drama between her and Rio, but judging by the gloomy look in her face, it wasn't really my place to ask. On another note, her producer, isn't there like some secret or inside story to the birth of Maria? Oh yay, we're getting some more info on Maria Bishop. That's great. Since there wasn't really a lot to begin with. At least in the first game. Spell, what's behind the mysterious charismatic face? Hmm. Jogosaki smirked. That smirk suggested she was an oddly chatty moon. The murky expression she wore earlier had vanished. I do, I do. I'd love to ask about all of it. With that, Jogosaki started to tell me about all about her and Ria's time in middle school together. She was convinced Ria could be a star after hearing her sing, recorded her on a whim, and uploaded the audio clip online without her consent. Believing she could boost Ria's popularity even more, Jogosaki shared news of Sylvie's recent accomplishments as a pianist, thus piquing Ria's interest, and convinced her to upload videos of her talents on social media. Yogasaki continued her story, adding that she later rented a studio for Ria to undergo proper vocal training. It's worth noting that she was grinning from ear to ear when she shared that part. I was nothing short of entertained while Jogosaki shared how Maria Bishop came to be. With that said, sitting here engaged in idle chatter with Jogosaki Ayaka. There was no way the situation was real, right? It seems like it is. So not much studying? Yeah, 
And now I'm in huge trouble since I made zero progress on my homework. Ah, uh, where's that coming from? Hold up. I thought I skipped a line or something. Again. Uh, Joe was talking I returned to my studies around sunset after talking about Maria Bishop for most of the day. We'd wasted what little time we had left on talking and were quickly approaching my deadline. Jogosaki grew increasingly strict the last time we had. She'd been a calm and helpful tutor up until this morning, but she was shouting a ton, almost like Mina-chan. I would not let that slide personally. Yoroshikuでけど、私は確かによく怒鳴りますが、怒鳴る、叱るというのはそうすることであなたならできるはずという思いがあるからです。でなければ。that makes sense. So all that yelling means you're... So all that yelling means you care about me? Capper. Darn. Oh, nothing. Help him, please, please help. Really? Interesting that she came to that conclusion. But she may not be wrong, actually. <sighs> it's over. We both nearly crumbled down and beside the desk. Oh. 11.30. I didn't know people were capable of studying this light. I was beat. We started too late and it was inching closer to midnight. Thank you, Jogosaki. You somehow managed to finish within the day. Let's call that wound water under the bridge now? Oh, okay. Yeah. That was always the plan. My brain had been running on full tilt and I was left feeling semi-lethargic. Phew. <sighs> Yurosaki let out a tiny yawn. You must be sleepy. <laughs> well, maybe if you weren't loud- the blah, blah, louding. If one of you weren't yelling for so loud and for so long. If one of you weren't yelling so loudly for so long. Maybe you wouldn't have used so much brain power, Ayaka. Although it was late, it was only a little after 11. We were, after all, residents at the Goody Goody Noble Academy dormitory. The sort of people who would get up at 6 every morning to do radio calisthenics. 11 o'clock was the time of day where you would, should, be fiddling around with your phone in bed. My brain craved rest after all that studying. Also, starving. Sounds like you're hungry. You're not you when you're hungry. Have a snicker. We hadn't eaten dinner. We quickly realized neither of us had eaten anything since that frozen food party earlier that morning. We'd gone almost 14 hours without eating. That is absolutely insane. I would I would not be sane if I was hungry for that long. If I'm hungry, I'm eating right away. Want something to eat? The cafe and convenience store has closed some time ago. Okay. 
She immediately jumped the settling dish with sugar content, huh? But, oh, don't you know? We may have a mountain of frozen food. But you're sitting right next to the kingdom of instant food. I opened up the box of cup noodles and I, st I stuck up on. There was no chance we could get delivery at this time of night, much less during the last week of the year, so I made sure to stock up on certain foods at the start of December. <laughs> Ramen's the best when it's cold out. I was sure anything with sugar would satisfy her hunger, but what her belly wanted right now had to be actual food. With how cold it was today, something like a hot soup would be better for her. Cup noodles were the best choice. <laughs> We're obviously putting each other out. So, what flavor? You know your stuff. Miso's perfect in the winter. I put water into the jar and got some hot water ready. What's up? Say it with your chest. There we go. That wasn't so hard, was it? Oh, slurp noises. Yeah, there we go. Oh, should this be the thumbnail? This is the best during winter. Who would have thought we'd have these two just eating together? That's crazy. I set our bowls beside each other. <laughs> it's fine. I was planning on the fatty chicken broth flavor anyway. Ah. <sighs> Man, though, tastes great. Really hit the spot. I hadn't noticed it after being coked up all day, but I was really cold. I neglected to switch the thermostat the heat earlier that afternoon, and the temperature quickly fell as the day wore on. That only made warm food all the more delicious. And then, oops. Slurp. Dursaki was eating beside me. What was the deal with the eroticism? <laughs> the way she bundled the noodles together and slipped them into her mouth, then proceeded to drink the remaining soup in a single motion with a flushed cheeks. I think I now understood why there was there always seemed to be a demand for beautiful girls that make an O face while they ate. How should I put this? She looked really breathable. A beautiful woman eating ramen would just be charming on its own, but a woman with black hair though? There was something oddly provocative about everything she did. Nothing, nothing. It was going to make things weird if I kept looking, so I turned my attention back to my nose. I'm kind of surprised, Jogosaki. You're able to eat noodles like the rest of us. Like the rest of us? What do you mean by that? I figured you'd be the type who'd say something like, Commoner food like this doesn't suit my palate, Toss. Sorry, Jogosaki, I cut you off. Let's give you another shot, because I cut you off. Although she wasn't being rude, I felt tempted to say, I bet you would. Maybe I should just keep my mouth shut. Actually, he even knew how to make it. Do you eat stuff like this in private? When she made it, she'd separate the seasonings that went in before and after cooking like second nature and warmed up the oil-based flavoring on the lead. Like she was used to it. Maybe I wouldn't go that far, but she had to be more familiar with how to make it than not. Ah. The queen of the frozen foods was well-versed in cup noodles, huh? Wow. They weren't exactly prevalent in our local tiny cities, but some convenience stores with floor space would put out five or so seats waiting in store. That They gave me the impression they were more frequently used by truck drivers and the like. You eat at a place like that? Why? It might even be unusual for middle school girls to use. This may have gotten me genuinely curious about her and Rhea back in her middle school days. 
May as well ask Ria sometime. I doubted Jogosaki would tell me even if I asked. Hmm? She whispered too quietly for me to hear. I was about to ask what she'd said, but she had already turned her attention back to her ramen. Looked like she warmed up plenty. She wiped sweat off her forehead. Oh, that was kind of hot. <laughs> no, please. This woman, when I saw her like this? Yeah, that's how it was. Wait, this was still Jogasaki. I knew she was my nemesis, but I'd opened up to her during the Maria-related conversation earlier that morning. Then she helped me out for hours on my homework, and now we were casually eating ramen together. This was nice. Yeah. Not seeing Jogosaki as my enemy was nice. In terms of my dormitory lifestyle and being surrounded by all sorts of gorgeous women all the time, she really was a step above the rest. Was she? She took out her handkerchief and wiped away the sweat on her throat. Everything she did was breathable. <laughs> Ahem. Knock it off me. Seriously, don't look at her that way. This had to be, you know what, because I was pent up. I had been three days since I last... Jerked the little man, mostly due to Minachan being around constantly when helping out with my homework. Yeah, that's why. That explains why I was so rocked up. If you're getting warm, I have cold options. There's ramune and ice cream too. <laughs> I just recommended it as a way of making conversation, but it seemed I wasn't the only one who felt like the mood was different today. Jogosaki accepted surprisingly casually, like it was only natural. She took the ramune and started a drink. I can't say I hate this either. I can't say. I'd be lying if I said I hated this. I'm not gonna cap right now. Again, old me would be like, TRAITOR! <laughs> I don't blame me though. I wouldn't blame me. Maybe just a little. Sure. The best way I could describe it. She was making herself at home. The Jogasaki Ayaka was making herself at home in my room, along with me. This was one insane situation, absolutely. Now that I do agree with too. That without any hesitation. That was just how massive a sense of accomplishment finishing off my homework gave, I guess. I should actually be the one to come out and say this formally. Thank you for helping me with my homework, Jogosaki. Yeah. Supremely gentleman. Who would have thought this was possible with her? Three months had passed since I transferred to Noble Academy. And this was the night I resolved my final hangup. Perfect spot. Perfect spot to end. I needed to end like 10 minutes ago anyways. She's... St oh my god. What? Now that's a way to wrap it up. A little cliffhanger. Okay, now I'm confused. Bro said that he's been at the school for three months. I, th I thought this was taking place a year later, you know, like next Christmas season. Because in the first game, there was a Christmas season. And then I thought this was like a fast forward to the next Christmas. And he said three months only at the school. Wouldn't it be a lot more by then? Okay, I'm so confused. Can someone please explain that to me? I am very lost on how this game is in and how in order this game is with the other one or is this just not canon or what's going on or is this like a different or is this a different or is this game just completely different from the first whereas this common route has nothing to do with the first game it's just a different version of it if that makes sense can someone please explain that to me please i would really appreciate it i'm honestly really really confused but anyways, aside from that, I'm going to wrap it up though. It's time to go. This was a great episode. And I'm going to say it again. I can't say I'm upset that they're actually getting along well. It's actually kind of nice to not have to be against someone all the time. Like, And even in real life, I wouldn't want to have bad blood with anyone. Especially if you're seeing them often. Like that's just, that sounds so exhausting. And you don't even have to be friends with someone you're not crazy about. But just have you know no tension or be able to talk to each other if you have to you know without any sort of issue like just with that i think that's more than enough so where i don't feel like uh you know like oh so i won't feel all freaking like stressed out just by seeing them around and stuff you know because that's not healthy at all that cannot be healthy for you i am still wondering if this is still events that 
Odo is telling his sister Chicken about because as we know in the beginning it showed that Odo was telling her events that had already occurred the Chicken Nugget. So I'm still confused if this is what's still happening. And is the game going to be like this till the very end or how is this going to go again? If someone could explain that also, I would really appreciate that too. But with that being said, I'm going to wrap it up there. I had told myself that I'm going to do a better job at trying to minimize the yapping as much as possible and get out the most important to me thoughts out, you know, and keep it nice and concise. But anyways, with that being said, I'm going to let y'all go. Thank you so freaking much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And if you did make it this far and you know answers to those questions I just had or have, please let me know. And also... If you did enjoy this video, please hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. It would really mean the world to me. We're almost at 900 subscribers. And then a thousand. Oh my God. Oh, I'm so excited about that. Like you guys have no idea. <laughs> Little kid me would be so happy to know that one day he'd have a thousand subscribers. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to let y'all go. And I'll see you guys in the next video as always. Y'all stay safe. And until next time.